In the red corner we have Vu Manchu. In the green corner we have Market Cipher B. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. Hey traders, I hope you're going extremely well. My name is David and welcome to my channel where I go through trading strategies that I find on YouTube and on the web and then I use code to debunk the bad ones and find the good ones. Today we're going to be delving into the world of Market Cypher B and its primary competition and rival, if you will, uh, Vu Manchu and its open source version. I'm going to be going through all of the features of both of these indicators and I'm going to be backtesting using Botify, which I hope to highlight in this video so you can see the value of actually being able to back test without any code and actually connect these uh, trading strategies to bots without any code whatsoever you'll be able to connect any trading indicator whether it's premium or open source to bots and actually create a full back testing plan without having to rely on signals from third party baffoons on the internet that's going to lose you 75% of your account because they have no idea what they're doing okay more about that in the next couple of videos I'm going to get over to my computer so that we can back test these two indicators to find out which one is the best out of the two if you do find value in these videos I really would appreciate it if you don't mind giving it a good old thumbs up and don't forget Get to subscribe i do videos every monday and friday sometimes i do live streams but after the last ones maybe i might be giving that a miss for a last one okay let's go over to my computer and back test these two strategies okay here we are on my computer as always first thing that you're going to have to do is add the two of these to your charts uh, to do market cipher the first thing that will jump out uh, <laughs> your eyes is the price of market cipher uh, it is a quite an expensive indicator. You have to go to marketciphertrading.com and click buy up in the corner up here. As you can see, their plans start at five, uh, $600. This is the one that I purchased yesterday to do this video. Uh, and as you can see, you get three or four indicators included it. Most, uh, most well known, I believe, is the Market Cipher B. Uh, if you want a lifetime plan, it's $1,500. Nine slightest affiliated to uh, Vumanchu or Market Cipher B. I have found a code on the internet that gives you 20% off. Uh, just a website that, that I found, which was codecoupons.com or something like that, where you can get 20% off of uh, Market Cipher. I do have an affiliate link, which is in the description below. If you want to use it, it gives a little bit of a kickback to the channel. Okay, let's get back to uh, Trading View and have a look at these two indicators. Okay, so here we are on the screen. I'm going to remove myself off the screen here so you can see the two indicators. On the left hand side, we have Vu Manchu, and then on the right side, we have Market Cipher B. As you can see, they both look very, very similar. They have the blue wave structure, uh, where we're generally looking for the lighter wave to be crossed over by the darker wave for a short, and we're looking for a uh, the other way around, a, the lighter to come below the, uh, the darker and move its way up uh, for looking for longs. These green dots and red dots signal a crossover between the two waves. And then if we look over here, we also have a money flow index, which is this green and red waves here. This seems to be the biggest difference between two and the crypto face who owns these indicator market cipher B pushes the point across of this being one of his favorite parts of the indicator. And it's often talking about money, uh, money overflow coming over and crossing up uh, when he's taking his trades. The waves that we're looking for crossovers for our entries and this yellow waves which are similar on both but not exactly the same is the VWAP. So that is that. We have all seen these squiggly lines up here which are stochastic RSIs uh, but slightly different. This bar down the bottom here is just an indication of the money flow above up here. So as you can see, they're very similar in both of the two products. Uh, there's not much difference between Market Cypher B and Vu Manchu, other than the price and the money flow. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Botify, which is a product that I made to backtest a couple of strategies on many different pairs in crypto and other things like Forex to see whether the money is worth the difference. I'll then show you how to connect Market Cypher B to bots if that's something you want to be able to do. I personally think it's the best way of trading because you don't have to worry about signals that you may have missed and things like that, although it doesn't take away all the stress of trading because, you know, trading is stressful, right? Let's get back over to my computer. Okay, here we are back at my screen. So to add Vu Manchu, in case you I didn't go through it, you have to just go up to indicators up 
here, type Vu Man True, that's V U M A N C U C H U, and you'll be able to find it here, which is this one here, the Vu Man True B plus Divergences. If you want to add a uh, market cipher, it's a little bit harder, you have to go and pay, then you have to go into your invite scripts over here to add it to your screen. One thing I would like to point out is that the wave trend that you actually saw in both of these indicators here, the blue waves, was neither invented by Market Cipher or Vu Manchu. Uh, it seems like it was actually uh, an indicator for a developer called Lazy Bear. If you search for wave, uh, wave trend here, you'll be able to find the wave trend uh, with crosses by Lazy Bear here. It was invented quite a long time ago. Uh, this one seems to be the one that's the best. Uh, out of all of them all you have to do is change the length of the lengths here uh, the average length and the channel length here and that will actually give you the same sort of results as market cipher b or vu manchu uh, so just giving credit where credit is actually due so if i go out back over to my chart here what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be looking at these strategies here for today as a back test i will go through and back test it on all not actually looking for a humongously profitable trading strategy today just going to be testing both of them to see what the results would be and if there's a considerable difference between the two i will then do some short videos uh, during the week of some good setups that i found on market cipher b and how to connect it to bots okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for a break breakout indicator we're going to be looking to break previous highs or previous lows so we're going to be looking for price to come down like this for a short and when we break a previous low like this here we're going to take our entry here with confirmation of the vumenchu or the market cipher indicator uh, so we're going to be looking for longs if we're looking for the green dot the brave to be coming up and shorts coming down we're looking for confirmation either with this green line at the bottom here or this green line here they're both the same uh, we're looking for longs to be green obviously and red for shorts same thing on market cipher uh, b uh, we're going to be looking for a green dot or a wave to be curving up for a long green here like it is for a long if we're looking for a short we're obviously going to be looking for the other way around we're looking for red here this red wave here or this red line at the bottom here we're going to be looking for a red dot for price to be curved uh, the waves to be curving down the waves will have to be above the zero line for a short and below the zero long line for a long okay for us to identify the highs and lows i'm going to be using the donchon channel so that we can work out whether we've been crossing over a previous high or a previous low we get a look bad period which we'll be able to modify to see whether we're looking for a longer trend or a shorter trend In, with previous experience it seems to be the good way of identifying trends and breakouts of highs or lows i personally like that so we're going to be using that today okay here we are back at the computer let's add the donchon uh, indicator so you have to go up to indicators up here and go donchon which is like that i believe if i remember rightly that's it that one there now as you can see this channel is made by previous highs and previous lows like so so we're going to be identifying that low as we break below the previous low we're going to be taking our entry our entry is confirmed by market cipher b or where uh, man choose market cipher okay i've moved over to a chart where i've added all the indicators that i've needed to get started we have our vu manchu just here we have our market cipher b just here and then we have our channel for identifying highs and lows i'm going to be using botify which is a script that i made uh, to back test this trading strategy and i'm going to show you how to do that straight away so adding the indicator is very much like normal you go up here you become part of the david tech patreon which you'll be able to find below in the description uh, you click on uh, type in botify and add that to your chart we're going to go over to the botify setup panel here as you can see it is absolutely full of indicators but don't be scared it'll be very easy to set up once you understand the uh, ins and outs of the indicator so first thing we're going to be looking at is you get the options to add your take profits and stop losses in the ways that you want to so you can set up a risk to reward uh, you can set your stop loss to wherever you want on the chart 
that means that you can use either fixed percentages or another indicator or you can add a stop loss indicator today we're going to be adding the stop loss indicator and setting our stop loss uh, to the Dion Short channel because that means that we'll be able to set our stop loss at recent high or recent low as the uh, indicator suggests we're going to be using a risk to reward so we're going to be for our take profits so if I go down and scroll down here we can see that we're using a risk to reward of 1.5 uh, so that means we're going to be adding our stop loss or take profits to the channel up here like so so if we're taking a short here we would take our short here we would set our stop loss to the channel and then we would look for a risk to reward of 1.5 which is a great way of actually taking profit in many different marketplaces it adapts your trading strategy a lot better than using fixed percentages in my experience okay so if we continue we can continue over now my favorite indicator for taking profits is the ATR but I will not go into that today it helps us to find good setups in most markets uh, if I go along as I'm going to be using the stop loss indicator here you have to go to here and set your stop loss indicator to the DC low now, because I have added the Donchon to my chart, it will pop up in this list here. So you have a list of all the indicators, as you can see, Market Cypher, uh, sorry, Vu Manchus and Market Cypher here. I'm gonna be setting my stop loss for a long to the lower channel here. And then when I'm on a short, I can set it to the upper channel, which is absolutely great. There's loads of extra features, which I will not go into much today. Uh, things like trading stop losses, multiple take profits, using great risk management tools that I've spent a lot of time building, uh, things like a minimum and a maximum stop loss. Uh, I will set, uh, do a blog post with all of these settings so you can find them easily. You can set up multiple take profits and things like that. Let's get back to the main part of the indicator, which is uh, adding Vu Manchu to it. So here we are in the main setup of the indicator. As I said, I'm going to be taking an entry when the high of a candle so you choose your base here high of a candle breaks above the up, uh, upper DC and we're going to be using the low of the candle for the DC here uh, so that uh, when the low of a candle breaks below the previous low of this channel we're going to be taking an entry to do so we set this as equal to or lower than or equal to than more than or lower than and you can choose your indicators here and then we have also a way of kind of trailing if you wanted to trail your stop loss. I'm not going to be using that today. I'll go into it in another video. Then we're going to be using, if I go down a bit further here, activate one. I'm going to ignore for today and I will explain in another video. Uh, it's just a little bit of a helper indicator that I've put together here with green dots and red dots to help you to see where your entries are. Okay, so activate one, activate two. We can imagine this is going to be the first confluence indicator. For these rules, what we're going to be doing is setting up markets, uh, Vuman choose where wave trend. Uh, to do so, we have choose, chosen a indicator value and we're going to compare it to the second indicator value just here. So that means we have wave one, wave two, and then we just have above or below. So it's very, very simple. It's very much like an end if statement. And then our final actual indicator will be activate three here. We have our, we're going to be setting that up to a fixed level of zero. We're looking for Vu Manchu's RSI MFI area to be above or below zero. So that's going to help us. That's going to be this green and red area here. We want it to be above or below zero, below zero for, uh, above zero, sorry, for a uh, for a long and then above zero for a short and it's set to a fixed level here it's going to be zero so i hope that was a very quick way of going through uh botify allows you to use all of the david tech boilerplate which allows you to scroll down and connect this to bots i will do a full course of botify and how to use it inside my website uh, so you can use it and on any indicator to back test it let's have a look at some of the back testing results on this now so I'm going to add it to the chart. As you can see, we have 54% uh, profitable uh, with 53 trades, uh, 1.816 as the profit factor, which is quite good. 
and we have 122 net profit uh, thanks to this trading strategy we are on the 15 minute if i go over to the 30 minute let's have a look to see whether that gives us any entries as well so on the 30 minutes we have 42 trades and 201 percent profit we have a profit factor of 50 and a pro uh, sorry a win rate of 50 percent and we have a profit factor of 3.1 if i go over to the extra uh, stats you'll be able to see that the sharp ratio is 0.454 Let's go to the five minutes. I'm going to do these very, very quickly. In a second, I will cue the music and just let the screen go through each and every time frame and through different pairs uh, so you can see the differences between Vu Manchu and Market Cypher. This is the five minute. Let's do one hour very quickly for Vu Manchu. This is on BTC USDT, if I didn't mention it earlier. And as you can see, most of them are quite profitable for such a simple strategy. Uh, this one is not a great equity curve. None of them have a great equity curve. I'm not saying this is a great trading strategy by itself. There isn't enough trades for me to judge, uh, but it certainly is a start of being able to backtest and see whether it's worth the extra money, right? Okay, I'm going to cue the music. We're going to let Du Manchu and Market Cypher fight it out to see which one's the best in your opinion. Let's go. Okay, as you can see, in conclusion, I guess it all down to, boils down to your needs and budget for an indicator. Whether you believe that it's a good idea to support a developer by paying for an indicator or you're more into open source versions yourself. They're pretty much the same sort of results. There may have been a slight win for Market, Market Cypher in my opinion, but that's just what I saw on the charts. Is it worth an extra $600? maybe not but like i said that's got to come down to your own personal opinion i guess i hope that this has given you enough insights to see that you no longer lead to blindly follow other people's signals with a simple indicator that i've made you can actually back test any trading strategy and i will show you how to connect it to bots in the next couple of videos it's very very simple you add the alerts to trading view you can leave it to trade by itself thanks to services like trigger.trade and you're ready to go okay guys i hope you enjoyed that one don't forget to subscribe you can find all the links to patreon down in the description where you can add botify to test any trading strategy on trading view where you can test any trading indicator on trading view the links are in the description below okay guys i hope you enjoyed that one i really do think that botify is probably the best uh, strategy that i've actually built it allows you to multiply your income and all of your uh, back testing uh, within a couple of minutes you no longer need to rely on bad signals of uh, of groups that you find on discord or on youtube you can back test absolutely everything thanks to one indicator you can find the links to that and patreon down below in the description take care keep safe keep coding trade like a boss and i'll see you later in the week with some more uh, back testing bye bye now have a nice week bye bye take care